Oh, I got that one. Hello, cats. Good morning. <laughs> it's always recording. There's cameras everywhere. Can I join in, Cam? Of course you can. Lazy bastard. Get going. Whoa, it's fucking. What is the real though? How are we feeling about today then lads? Well I know the seas love a final. Last time I was here with you, it was um dubs all the way. Yeah. So how are feeling about today? You can't go wrong on this. Had enough rain on it as well. The boys can't play on this, they can't play anywhere. Strong team out, so confident today, bro. Things I love to hear, man. Just a shame, wow. Uh, you, you bought out the Vialis as well. Brought out the flipping. You got the Jean Luc of Vialis on. Wow. Just, you know, hopefully, Shane and Omar, if you're watching this, cheers, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've trimmed down since I last seen, yeah? It was only about three weeks ago. That Jurgen Weiss there. He's doing the Jurgen clap on, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, Twist, how are you still playing, bro? Can, can I have some of what you, whatever you're eating, please? I hope you're as sharp as that beard today, Ad. Move the ball about, be confident, trust each other. But bare minimum is 100%. If your runner runs off you, you're gonna get a bollock in and you'll get dragged, I'm telling you now. I ain't having no one fucking half-hearted tackles, half-hearted jogs back to mark up. These are meant to have a decent striker, so a fucking pricey shorty. Obviously, a lot of communication there, and you won't run that back line for sure, yeah? Obviously, can't in mind. But that also, we can fucking play out in the back here when you can have one out. And he's got a fucking great kick, so if we have to go long, everyone push up the pitch and get up to them. They've got a fucking meant to have a good throw as well, so we be fucking aware of that, alright? Try not to give away silly throws and fucking silly free kicks. Just defending as well, lads. Full backs when the ball's coming down your opposite flank. You know what to do. Tuck in. Don't worry about your man over your shoulder unless that ball's coming in. And you've got to give yourself time then to close it down. And as Jerry said, look at the team, put out in the middle, camp, they dictate the whole game for us. Yeah? Yeah, boys, from my point of view as well, enjoy today, man. Better come and play these kind of games, innit? So like, what we all want to do, win a final, put all the friends around it, so make the most of it, innit? When we play our best football, but no one can touch us, and we've proved that a few times this season, and we've smashed teams. So let's get on the ball early doors and make them worry about us, and make it a lot easier for ourselves, man. But yeah, enjoy today. Let's, let's play the occasion, boy. Yeah, come on, on our game, let's use what we do best. Let's not let it override us, get carried away with it, get silly. Let's do what we do best. We get on the ball, we play football, and that's what we do. And then we come back in here with that fucking cup, because everyone's going to be on it. Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Sunday League Settings with myself, Big 
Faza. Now this week we've got the Sunday Amateur Cup final between 3 C's FC taking on FC Premier Warriors. Now let's see me chatty patty patty and let's get straight into the action. FC Premier boys coming close off that corner kick and as he get back into the action, ball on that far side but Carty letting Ali know he's in the game early doors. Now from that resulting throwing, ball tossed into Ali once again, managed to spin away from Carty, whips the ball into the mixer but Andy comes off his line and collects it. Still early sparring in the opening couple of minutes of this game, Fuzzy comes deep to pick up the ball, tries to play it inside but intercepted by that 3 C's back line. Dejan can't get the ball under control but Ashley's already in an offside position which means one thing and one thing only, Lionel's got his ruler out straight as an arrow. Now we're about 5 minutes into the game at this point, Ali with some decent footwork to get away from Cam, out to Fuzzy who gets the ball out of his feet, whips it into the mixer but Dan Manda can't get his head on the end of it. Now ball picked up in front of the camera once again by Fuzz and plays into the channel for Lewis to chase it down but the referee does bring it back for a free kick on centre back Anthony and lads you can swap shirts after the game. And as we fast forward a couple of minutes it has been a decent start to the game from the FC Premier boys as Dan Manda picks up the ball just inside the box, lays it off to number 14 George who puts it into the mixer, Ali leaves one on Andy, the referee blows up. And as we go back up the other end, headed down there to Adam who picks up the ball about 22 yards out from goal, tries to whip it into the mix on that left foot of his but he goes well over the bar. Just under 9 minutes played and ball sent to the park with Cam, lays it out to that left hand side to Adam once again. Got time to get his head up, whips the ball into the mixer but that's a decent clearance by number 16 Ben for the Premier boys. <laughs> Just over 10 minutes played, Dejan playing the ball into Fuzzy once again who tries to whip it into the centre of the park but intercepted there by Carty doing a job at left back today, always going to try to get his shot away, he puts it just wide. Twelve minutes on the referee's watch at this point, free kick to the three C's boys just inside their own half to be taken by Carty, puts it into the mixer, Ashley heads it on into the path of Lee, referee didn't blow up for a foul, if this goes in the back of the onion bag it would have counted. From that resulting corner kick, it is whipped into the mixer but the wind's taking it out, goal kick. Just under 15 minutes on the clock at this point, Marquez plays the ball into Ali, he plays into the big man Lewis up top, decent spin to get away from his man and decent hold up play but intercepted there by Big Martin doing a job at the back for the seas. Fast forward a couple of minutes, miscontrol there by Marquez centre of the park resulting Adam playing the ball into the big man Ashley up top, now he has got four defenders in and around him with decent hold up play, tries to play Adam back in but Dejan stepping out of the fence once again clearing his lines. Now it wouldn't be a cup final without a couple of feisty tackles. Now from that resulting free kick you got Skipper Lewin standing over it, whips it into the mixer but that with well enough by that 3 C's back line. Eighteen minutes on the referee's watch at this point, Lee for the C's plays it into Kurt doing a job on his right hand side today but the Premier boys are all over him like a rash, managed to intercept the ball, play it into the big man Lewis up top, gets a shot away on that left foot who drags it just wide. Go, 
Fast forward a couple of minutes as we go back up the other end. Adam has been a decent outlet on the left hand side for the seas. Managed to skip around his man, whips it into the mixer. There is a little bit of from you to me, me to you, which results in the Premier Boys winning a free kick. Foul on Dejan. Halfway through this first half, and as you can see, the wind's playing havoc with the camera and the corner flag. Cam whips the ball into the mixer, tapping for shorty. The ball gets stuck underneath his feet. And as you fast forward a couple of minutes, Ali intercepted there by Carti, plays into Adam. Now he does try to play into the big man Ashley up top, but he's in an offside position. Slots into the back of the onion bag. The Lionel's got his ruler out. Straight as an arrow. Now I've been involved in football a long time to know that if you don't take your chances at one end, the opposition will go back down the other end and take theirs. Now Lewin picks up the ball in the pocket, got time to get his head up, <laughs> and slots in Lewis, who gets his shot away, bottom of the onion bag to make it 1 0 to the Premier Boys. <laughs> and it's not me. Twenty six minutes under watch, three C's nil, FC Premier Warriors one. Decent battle for the ball in the centre of the park. Marquez comes away with it. Ali wants it a little bit more than Carty. Referee doesn't give a foul. Plays it in there to Lewis, gets his shot away. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Because the Lionel's got the ruler out on that far side. Now you've heard me say it many a times before, people. If it's not broke, you don't fix it. And Lewis is definitely the outlet for the FC Premier boys. As another ball slotted through to him, gets his shot away. Stings the fingers of Handy in goal. From that resulting throwing, you got centre back Dean trying to launch one into the box, slips out of his hands a little bit, still picked up there by Ali, lays it back out to him, tries to whip it into the mixer, but it does go out for a corner kick. Now just under 30 played, Lewin to whip the ball into the mixer, it's not the greatest corner, dealt with by Carty and cleared by the three C's back line. And as they go back up the other end, Cam plays into Carty, he whips it into the mixer, dealt with there by Dan, Dejan gets a foot on it, but no further than Cam. Doesn't get enough purchase on it and it's just wide. Now from that resulting goal kick taken by Ali, not the greatest kick, which leaves Dan in a little bit of trouble, resulting in bringing down Ashley. Free kick to the three C's boys. From that resulting free kick, you've got Cam and Carty standing over it. Cam draws rank, gets his shot away. Decent enough shot, but that's a decent save by Ali in goal. Just over 10 minutes left of this first half to play and Ali getting caught in possession, put under pressure so his clearance isn't the greatest. Ball slotted in there to Adam, he tries to whip it into the mixer but that's decent defending once again by Dejan. Now we've got Kurt standing over this corner kick, whips it into the mixer, onto the head of Lee, decent purchase but that's decent hands by Ali in goal.
You can play all the football you want sometimes, but Route 1 is just as good. Ali with a decent kick out of his hands. Jason can't get his foot on it. It's a decent recovery tackle. Thirty-eight minutes on the referee's watch at this point, and an absolute ping from Fuzz to bring in Marquez on that right-hand side. Looks as if it's going out of play, but credit where it's due to Marquez keeps it in. Slips over, but still manages to knock the ball around Adam. Just a shame the cross wasn't as good as the piece of skill before it. Decent batter possession from the FC Premier boys at this point in the game, as Dan plays into Lewin back out to Fuzz. Now the backline of the seas are giving him a bit of respect because his pings have been decent so far. Commentators curse as that one goes out of play. With just under 5 minutes of normal time left to play in the end of this first half, free kick to the free seas boys, whipped into the mixer by Cam. Dejan put under a bit of pressure, nearly put into the back of his arm. Him back. Three C's knocking on the door, trying to get themselves back into the game. End of this first half, and from that resulting corner, the wind still playing havoc as it goes out for another goal kick. And as we enter the dying embers of this first half. Three sees some decent one touch play here, results in Lee trying his luck, miles away from goal, which is easy pickings for Ali. And as we're knocking on the half time door, Dejan stepping out of defence, but decent interception there by the C's back line, but Fazer just reminding Kurt he's in the game. 44 minutes in, and it's a throw in for the C's. Martin about to wire on up to toss it into the mixer, not dealt with the best by the Prem back line. Results in the ball being recycled on the edge in the 18 yard box. Cam gets his shot away, laid off to Kurt. And that's a decent save by the big man in goal. Cam whips another decent ball into the mixer, punched away there by Ali, and the Prem back line managed to clear their lines. Added time at the end of this first 45 and you got Fuzzy on the counter attack on that right hand side trying to double the Prem boys lead, gets his shot away but that's a decent save by the big man Andy in goal. Now on that note with the referee moments away from blowing his half time whistle we are going to go into the break, 3 C's FC nil, FC Premier Warriors 1. Yeah. Hey. 
Now with them half-time team talks done and dusted, let's get the second half underway then. Opening minutes of the second half and Carty winds up a throw-in, tosses it into the box, helped on, they just can't get on the end of it. Forty-eight minutes into the game, and decent defending once again there by Dejan, stepping out of the back line, doing his defensive duties well enough, laying it off there to Dan, back out to that left-hand side. Ball played into the skipper Lewin, who plays a lovely ball over the top. Now Faz brings it out of the sky, decent control, decent shot, unlucky. Throw into the FC Premier boys just in front of the camera. Headed away there by Carty, but no further than Marquez. Plays into Lewin, who slots in Fuzz, who gets a shot away on that left foot, but hits side netting. Oh, look <laughs> 49 minutes on the referee's watch, and it has been a very decent start to the second half by the FC Premier boys as they're on the attack once again. Fuzz plays another ball into Lewis, just can't bring it under control. Carty sticks a foot in, and credit where it's due to Carty gets a second blocking from the shot from Ali, and the three C's boys eventually clear their lines. Now, as you fast forward a couple of minutes, Carty ends up in that referee's little black book for a late tackle on Dan. Now from that resulting free kick, you've got centre half, number 16, Ben standing over it. Whips an absolute peach of a ball into the mixer. Just a shame nobody can get on the end of it. Seven minutes of the second half played so far, and the ball played out to this left hand side to Adam, who's got time to turn on it. Text on his man, he's brought down, resulting in a free kick to the three C's boys. Cam standing over the ball, whips it to the edge of the six yard box, but he's slightly overheat, and it's resulted in FC Premier boys clearing their lines. Three C's boys still trying to get themselves back into the game and get their equaliser. Ball played into Adam once again, sluts it through the channel, but the big man Ali's up his line early doors to scoop it off. Hey, Come on. Come on. As we fast forward a couple of minutes, some decent one-two football on his right hand side for the Premier boys between Dan and Lewis. Dan with some decent hold up play, slotting the ball through to Lewis once again. Does get the crossing, but it is defended well enough by that three C's back line. And like I said, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. This right hand side of the FC Premier boys has been their outlet. It was in the first half and the start of the second, they're starting to utilise it once again. Lewis nicks the ball around Jason, but credit where it's due to Shorty, getting back there, doing his defensive duty, sticking a foot in, allowing the rest of the three C's back line to get back into position. Now, as we got back down the other end, Adam plays a lovely ball into that right hand side into Kurt, who's got plenty of time to get it onto that left foot. Whips it across the six yard box, looking for Lee, but that's a great interception and clearance by Aaron. End to end action in the game as we go back down the other end. Fuzz picking the ball up on that left hand side, whips it into the mixer. Brought down by Ali, but that's a great save there by the big man Andy in goal. Half an hour left of this game, and from that resulting corner kick, whipped in by Lewin, but Andy's off his line early doors with a pair of safe hands. Yeah. 
And literally, we go back down the other end, and there's a free kick to the three seas boys. This time, Kurt draws rank, gets his shot away, but another pair of safe hands by the goalkeeper, Ali. Now I did say in the first half you can play all the football you want but route one is just as good sometimes. The three sees back line allowing that ball to bounce but Lewis can't get the purchase on his header and that's easy pickings for Andy. Fast forward a couple of minutes and corner kick to the three sees boys whipped in by Cam, headed away there by centre back Dean. No further than Carty, who chops back in on that left foot, gets his shot away, but not enough purchase on it. Substitution for the Premier boys as we welcome number 15, Chris, to the party, who gets involved straight away. Couple of step overs, whips it into the mixer, just not enough on the end of it. Now, a couple of boys battling for the badge right in front of the camera, resulting Adam slotting in cam once again. He whips it into the 18-yard box, but Dejan has been absolutely stellar with his defending during this game. Now the Seas have had plenty of corners during this game, this time they mix it up and go for a short one. Cam plays it into Adam, back out to Cam, drives it into the 18-yard box, but Ben's there to clear his lines. Normally on SLS, it's the strikers and midfielders that get all the plaudits, but I've got to give credit where it's due to number five Dejan, centre half for the Premier boys. Defending's been immaculate during this game. Now another corner to the three C's boys, but like I said, the wind's been playing havoc. Goals out for another goal kick. Couple more substitutions for the FC Premier boys as we welcome Joel and Emmanuel to the party. Now, as we get back into the action, decent shot just over the bar. Substitution for the Seas as we welcome Stu to the party. Back into the action, Lewis inside his own half plays it to Lewin. Another decent ball out to that left hand side to Fuzz. Manages to ride a tackle, gets his shot away, and another decent save by Andy in goal. Less than 20 minutes of the second half left to play. Lewin's corner kick into the box is dealt with first time by Martin. Now, as we fast forward a couple of minutes, it has been pretty even in the second half with chances at both ends. Now as Cam, he's slotted in, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Ali does enough, makes himself big and goes out for a corner. Carty whips the ball into the mixer with that one of a left peg. But once again, Dejan's there doing his defensive duties. And Captain Lewin spreads it out to this left-hand side. Counter attacks on here for the Premier boys. Emmanuel plays it into Joel. The two subs combined in. Joel plays out to Lewis on that left hand side. Joel follows his pass. Lewis tries to play it into Joel. Now Andy and Stu get mixed up between them. Joel sticks a toe on it and it trickles into the back of the onion bag to make it two for the Premier boys. With 10 minutes left of this game, FC Premier boys go and double their lead.
Centre-back Dean with a great tackle sees it out for a corner which is whipped in by Carty. Sees can't get on the end of it and the Premier boys manage to clear their lines. No further than number 15 Shorty who manages to recycle it back out to that left-hand side to Carty. He's always going to drop the shoulder and try and get his shot away but he puts it just wide. With five minutes plus added on time, we welcome Jack to the party. Now as we get back into the action, C still trying to get themselves on the score sheet. Camped in that FC Premier half. Ball whipped into the box, dealt with by Dejan once again. Results in Lee getting a snapshot and coming off the bar. Now in fair reflection, the three C's boys have definitely had enough opportunities to get themselves back into the game. The end product just hasn't been there, as Cam is one on one with the goalkeeper once again. Takes his shot, he's dragged just wide. Now the tension building on the sideline for the C's as they definitely had the chances to get back into the game. Now Lewis leaves one on Carty, resulting in the referee blowing up for a free kick. Lewis kicks the ball away. Referee puts him in a sim bin for the remainder of the game. Now during that break in play, another substitution for the Premier boys as we welcome Sam to the party. Three C trying to take advantage of that extra man as the ball breaks out to Adam who gets his shot away and that's another save by Ali in goal. Now the ball is cleared, picked up by Skipper Lewin, who plays it in over the back line. The three C's boys are camped in the half, and you've got Chrissy running one on one with goal, but credit where it's due to Carty, sticking a foot in where it matters. Now during that break in play, there is a couple of handbags off the ball, which results in Shorty seeing a red card. We are entering added on time at the end of the 90 with both teams down to 10 men. Carty sprays the ball out to that left hand side. Cam gets it out of his feet, cuts it back into Martin who slaps it to the back of the onion bag to make it 2-1. With three minutes of added on time left to play, three C's one, FC Premier Warriors two. Three C's boys still looking for that equaliser with just a few moments left of this game to play. Adam leaves a foot in on Joel, results in a free kick to the Premier Warrior boys. Last chance saloon for the three C's boys as Carty dinks another ball into the path of Cam who tries to get his shot away. It is blocked but Cam managed to pick up the seconds. Premier boys clear it out to the edge of the 18 yard box. No further than Carty who's always going to try to drop the shoulder and get his shot away. Rides a couple of tackles and puts it down over the bar. With the referee moments away from blowing his final whistle, the game is going to end 2-1, which sees the FC Premier Warrior boys crown the Sunday Amateur Cup champions. I'm Big Faza, this is Sunday League Settings. Thanks for having me.
As we go around the grounds, oh, place it! Oh, can Raf? Oh, it's the magic man, and it's a goal already. It's one 0 to the trooper. Hayden Tomkinson. Here's a Louis Kanan out. Oh, it's the magic man. Oh, it's a great ball. It's Taz. Oh, what a lovely finish! It's two 0 Assisted by the Magic Man, Neeks. He's the Magic Man, Neeks again. Toss. Oh, it's a great ball by Neeks. And oh, he comes to uh, Hayden. Oh, it's a super finish. It's 3 0. And good ball from Tyus Burt, assisted by the Magic Man who left this for Lewis Hayden to drill it in. Can they use the ball quickly and wisely? Neeks. Oh, he switches it over to uh, Taz. Oh, Taz, superb. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a goal. What magnificent feat. And it's now 4-0. It's a superb goal. That's his second. Maybe I'll kind of win it. He does, his Neeks. Oh, Cam Lee, great touch, it's Hayden, and there's the Magic Man, it's 5-0. Oh, and uh, oh, it's a uh, good work by Nicks, and Rafa is a trick, it's 6-0. And uh, <laughs> the goalkeeper that thought it was offside, it was, but the ref played uh, on, and uh, super quick thinking by the uh, great man Neeks, and <laughs> I won't have had a simpler goal in all his life. 6 0. Good ball to her, uh, Neeks. Oh, it's Cam Lee. Hey! And it's 7 0. What a beautiful ball from Neeks. And uh, Cam Lee this time finishes superbly well. Here's uh, Kyle Burke, Louis O'Connor, into uh, Cam Lee. Oh, now it's Simeon Coburn. 
Back to Camley! Uh, no, it's Louis O'Connor, I was going to say. I thought Cam was going to make that big run then. But Louis O'Connor oh. makes it 8-0. Comes wide to uh, Kyle Burke. Oh, that's Perkins. Can he finish? Oh, when Dan Perkins scores, it's 9-0. It's a lovely, lovely finish. Okay, it's a... Hayden. Oh, he's lost it. Is that uh, Lewis Hayden? Now it's uh, Simeon Coburn. Oh, what a finish. That is 10 now. And Sim gets himself on the score sheet. And as we have a quick look at the tables, NSA one point away from being crowned the champions of the championship and the Premier Division. It's all to play for as we get to the business end of the season. Now, respect people, myself, Big Faza, on behalf of Sunday League Settings. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bless up.